Hello, sewing friends. I um I mentioned something about a short video for you all because I found a couple shortcuts on the nine patch, and I thought maybe you could look at it in your spare time and um kind of chew on it mentally for a while, and then maybe it'll help you go a little bit less stressful and less whatever. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to just go, I'm going to show you the different steps to it, and hopefully it'll make um, our lives uh, more fun and more productive. And it, you guys are doing great. Don't, don't go there. But I just thought these are, make it a little bit easier for you. So stay tuned. Okay, friends. So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, start with our layout. So I've laid out all my blocks here and I I'm sorry I don't have an overhead camera but you know you know how it is anyway so what I'm gonna do is as I have it laid out I'm going to pin that one the middle and the end now, what I'm sh going to show you is called chain piecing. I think I mentioned it already, but I don't know if you're like me. Um, <laughs> when I'm learning a new thing, I don't take in every detail. I just kind of grab onto what I can grab onto <laughs> and move on. So what I'm doing is just pi pi uh, pinning these together, and I'm going to chain one to the other so they'll already be together i don't have to worry about anything getting switched around so um i'm going to take a picture of this the way it is and then i'll move over to the uh to the machine and and i'll meet you there okay so as i i know you all have uh remember me saying that you put your pins in the direction that you want to sew in in case there is um, directional fabric or whatever, um, you know, when you're meeting different colors. So, and Wanda, this is for you. Um, I hold, and for others that have that bunched up thread, what I do is when I'm first starting, unless I start with a little tab like I showed you already, I just take it a couple stitches and then I can let it go. Now, I want to show you something else. This right here is a quarter inch foot and some of you that don't have the option of moving your needle back and forth, this is probably, a, if you plan on doing any kind of quilting in your future, it's a really good tool. They're not expensive. It's a very good tool to have. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew this, keeping the fabric, I'm just driving it. And I'm going to stop. All right. And that's another thing. I have the option on this to stop with the needle in the down position. If you don't, it's I did it for years without it. You just get like one or two stitches before and then just lower your um, needle and then leave it. Then I'm going to grab the next one in my pile and I'm going to lift my foot up. And I'm going to butt it right up to the previous piece. Okay. Maybe one stitch before, and then just give it a little tug, and then there we go. And this is called chain piecing. And it really helps on this, and, and you'll see why. All right, so again, I'm going to butt it right up to it. And this is the last one in the row. So I'm going to go right off, bring my needle back up, my handy little snippers. All right. So snip, press, repeat. Anyway, so I just snip my threads. I'm not going to snip these. I'm going to leave them in there, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, and as you can see, I did that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the machine, and I'm going to sew this row in, in, uh, in place by chain stitching. Okay, remember a couple stitches before. 
lift my foot up and I'm going to drop and butt the next seam right up to it. All right. And the last one. And I'm going to let it run off. Okay, I didn't want to make you sit there and watch me sew another seam. But as you can see, it is much easier to get a right on point um, placement when you use that chain piecing thing. It kind of keeps everything in line for you. All you got, instead of having to find it and flip it and do all this, all you got to do is whoop. And there you go. Butt your seams up together and you're ready to roll.